What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Easy Data Recovery. Today we got in this 500 gigabyte Seagate drive. Now this drive is at least over 10 years old. Over the time, the health of the heads can actually deteriorate. It was also noted by the customer that it is making a slight clicking noise. And when we plugged it into our advanced data recovery tools, we were actually getting issues with head one. Now, usually what we could do for a drive that's having issues with a head is we could work logically with the drive to disable the head that's giving an issue. But for this specific case, the customer really needs all of the data. But that being said, we know this is a smaller style drive. So it's only gonna have heads zero and one. And because of this, our best option for a successful data recovery is going to be a head replacement. Luckily for us, I have the donor drive right here. It's a pretty involved process. We're gonna to have to head on over to our clean room, open up the drives where I'll show you the full head replacement. With that being said, let's head on over to the clean room and get started with the head replacement. Here we are back in the clean room. We start by mounting the drives to our specialized stands that limit vibration and provide a stable platform to work on the drives. With the drives mounted, we can remove all the screws, including the trickier ones located under the warranty seals. Now that the top cover is off, we can carefully remove the magnet holding down the head stacks. A couple more screws and we can create some space for the head stacks. Now we gently place our head tool on the arm of the head and using almost no force, guide it along. With the tool in place, we are able to remove the bumper and carefully slide the heads off the platter. From here, all that's left to do is gently guide our head stack out of the drive. With the problematic heads out of our drive, we can head on over to our donor drive where we will follow the process exactly as we did before. This is the perfect chance to remind everyone we are located in Alexandria, Virginia, just outside of Washington, D.C., and we would love to see you guys come in and, of course, help you out with all of your data recovery needs. If you're located out of state, no worries. Feel free to head to the link in the description where you can find our website with more information on our mail-in program. As you can see, it is the exact same process for the donor drive, and once we remove the good heads, we can transfer them back to our patient drive. We can carefully remove the head tools from the arm now and finish putting the drive back together by going in reverse from when we remove the head. Now, we are moving fast in the video, but this work is extremely precise. This is just like surgery, but for hard drives. When dealing with head replacements, any small error could ruin your one chance at a successful data recovery. Finally, before closing the drive back up, it gets one quick blast of air to make sure there is no debris on the platter before reassembly. All right, there you have it guys. We have successfully replaced the heads on the Seagate 500 gigabyte drive. Now all it's left to do is head on over to the PC3000 and see if the data recovery was successful. Now we are here at the PC3000, our most advanced data recovery tool. We plug in the drive as well as for this specific style Seagate, we connect the terminal cable to the drive in order to communicate further in our tools. Here in the software, we can give the drive power and use the built-in utilities to detect the family and the corresponding passport information for the drive. This is great news. Now all that's left to do is map our heads and verify that the head replacement was successful. As everyone knows, green is good and we love that side on the right. With everything showing signs of a successful data recovery, we head into the data extractor and wow, our customer's data is saved. All right, there you guys have it. That's the full process for head replacement and data recovery on the Seagate 500 gigabyte drive. I hope you found this video informative and thanks for watching.